Yo, what is up, guys? So I just got a pretty cool pickup right here. Bunch of Nintendo Wii games, a Wii system itself, a bunch of those metal cars, MacBook, all kinds of other cool toys and collectible stuff in there, and a bunch of G.I. Joe stuff. I got a great price on this stuff. Bunch of the cool G.I. Joe. These are like probably 2006, 2007, somewhere in that era. Another G.I. Joe toy there and there. And a bunch more down here. Okay, so all together, you guys wouldn't believe what I paid for all this stuff. Everything you, that I just showed you, all these G.I. Joe toys, all the Wii games, and all these toys, that whole box of stuff, and those cars, I only spent like 65 bucks on it all, okay? I got it from an auctioneer who's leaving his building. He has to move it, everything. So he gave us a lot of good deals on some random stuff in his back room. Here is my uh, my purchases. So all together, I spent 65 bucks. I figure, and these games, I'm probably going to average, because there's actually some pretty darn good games in there. It's not like he gave me a bunch of crap games. Um, for instance, I don't know. Let me see a game I recognize. Um, I mean, a couple of these games I know darn well I could sell for 10 bucks a piece. Some of these are going to be more like six, seven, eight bucks a piece, and some are probably going to be in the five dollar range okay so even if i could average let's just say two dollars profit per game i mean how many games do we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifty sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty twenty, 20, 20 like 24 games counting those ones uh so 24 times two dollars profit which is really safe i would say i'm probably gonna end up making a lot more than that i'm gonna make about 50 bucks just on the games themselves on these cars, I'm going to make profit probably $5 a piece because they sell anywhere between $8 and $12 each. Uh, so there's $5, 10 15 20 There's $20 and the $50 right there is $70. Bucks. I'm already in the green, and that's not counting anything else that I bought. So with the Wii itself, we're probably going to get $20 out of that with all the controllers and crap inside there. The MacBook, now guys, this is just, I'm assuming just for parts because I only actually paid $5 for this. Um, I don't know how to open it, but I'm going to probably drop it off my lap because i'm using one hand to record but guys i only paid five dollars for this macbook it can be completely which it is pretty damaged here but even just for parts i figure i can at least get 20 bucks out of it i think that's pretty safe um if i can get it to work that's a whole different story but let's not assume something unrealistic it's been sitting in a shed for a long time so there's 20 on top of my already 70 so i'm at 90 dollars um, a lot of this stuff is just miscellaneous. So this box right here is actually pretty neat. It looks like books right there, right? Until you open it up. And it's actually a little hiding box. Okay, you can stick your money in there. You can stick your drugs in there. You, you can stick anything you want in there. Don't do drugs, kids. It's bad. Um, but a box like this, I'll probably take out to the flea market and get $10 out of because it is pretty cool. I might end up keeping that because it's that neat. Um, a lot of this stuff, like I said, is just miscellaneous. Another $5 bill right there. Um, I don't know, that's probably $2. This is a pretty cool 80s toy here. It, I think it's missing a part. It is missing a part, it sucks. But I think I'm still gonna take that out to the flea market and probably get $8 out of that. Um, let's see here. These lights here, I'll probably throw out in my dollar sale. It might be worth more than that, but uh, I don't really care. So there's another four bucks right there. This little set right here, I'll probably get a couple bucks out of. So let's say three bucks there. This whole box here, there's some red liners in here. There's some 60s Hot Wheels. Um, so there's, act I'm sorry, the lighting's pretty bad, guys. I'm in my store right now, and it's not good right now. Uh, so there's actually some pretty cool cars in here. Okay, I'll take it over here so you guys can see it better. Um... Like nothing crazy special. I, don't, I didn't see at least, but that's pretty cool. I want to say, uh, uh oh, things are falling. I believe that. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but I believe it says '60s on it. Yeah. Yeah, '69 on it. So that's pretty neat right there. Um, just a lot of miscellaneous ones. I'll probably get. I don't know. Let's just say really safe let's just say 50 cents a piece i know some of the red liners i get a whole lot more out of but let's just say 50 cents a piece this whole box will call eight dollars there okay moving on moving on let's see what else we got um coca-cola train thing we'll probably get three bucks out of and this whole box i'm probably going to stick in another auction it has some wrestlers in there it has a lot of other toys um just miscellaneous stuff we'll probably get three dollars out of the whole box actually maybe more 
Got some of them guys in there. Got some sports cards in there. Let's call that whole box five dollars. Actually, it's probably safer. We'll get five out of this thing alone. This is pretty cool. Looks like a kind of older new toy there. You like that older new kind of kind of contradiction on itself. Um, some books, probably a dollar for all of them. So I'm not going to get very much. All right, I don't know where we're at right now, but I'm sure I'm calculating it up as I edit this video, so you guys will have a number somewhere. Um, but these toys, let's go ahead and get over and figure out what we're going to get out of these. That guy right there, we're going to get about $8 out of. Him, we're going to get out about $10 out of, okay? Now, this is gross sales, guys. This isn't counting what it's going to cost me to sell it on eBay. But I believe she's going for anywhere between $15 and $20. Bucks. He's a more expensive toy. He's probably about $30. These guys are all about 15 bucks a piece. I know these guys actually are probably going for 20 or 25 each, but let's just say 15 to be safe, and he's going for 10 bucks. Okay, I'm almost out of breath. Over here, we got about a $30 bill on him. This is a pretty rare toy here. Also, these guys are probably going to bring about 25 bucks a piece. All right, guys, so as you can see in the bottom right here, I'm going to end up doing over $300 in revenue on these items I just bought. I felt the need to share because, first of all, uh, it was a pretty darn good find. I only spent $65. And second of all, um, I also want to hear from you guys and hear what some of your better finds were. In my future videos coming up, I'm going to be talking about eBay. I'm going to be talking about shipping. I'm going to be talking about best finds. I'm going to be doing videos just like this one where I show you exactly my new scores, all of uh, you know what I spent on it and how much I'm going to end up making. Also, the reason why I'm, I'm not doing these videos to brag, I'm going to give you guys some insight on what might be selling better, what a market you may to, may not be tapping uh, into is. And uh, I know for me, every time I meet someone new or talk to somebody at auctions, you know, they teach me about a market or an area that I've never known about. So like right now, I'm just learning about glassware, something I had no information of before, but now that I'm spending time learning about it, it is uh, going a far away. And I'm starting to actually pick up on things and notice, oh, hey, that's a Viking, that's a piece of Viking glass or piece of Fenton glass. And uh, oh, that's worth $40 or $30. When before, I would have had no idea what it was and probably have sold it for 50 cents at my flea market sale. So uh, something to definitely, this business, you know, is less about tripling down on your strengths and more about, you know, building up your weaknesses. So I'm sorry I'm giving you guys a little motivation right now, but you definitely want to always be building out your weaknesses because there are so many different categories in this business. If you're into reselling, there are so many different things you can sell. Uh, that you always have to be learning and the market's always changing and the price are always fluctuating you have to stay on top of your game so it's a never ending uh, learning process but it's great because the more you learn the more money you can make in this side of the business uh, so good luck to you guys thank you for listening if you're interested in this type of stuff definitely subscribe to the channel and i'll be putting out a lot more content like this i'll see you guys